Van Gogh painted his bedroom at Arles in 1888, and uh, he came to the south of France with a dream of establishing an artist community and with a quest for home. He painted this uh, particular scene three times. It's uh, pretty common for major exhibition at the Art Institute of Chicago to have a component of in-depth um, technical and scientific analysis. And in this case, the curators came to us with the question of which one came first. And also, because in his letters, Van Gogh expresses the importance of color, he describes the room and he says, well, I'm making this painting of my bedroom and the uh, bedspread is red and the chairs are yellow and the walls and doors are lilac and purple. And today we look at these paintings and the walls and doors are light blue or blue in color. So the question was, what happened? What you see here is a, a microscopic sample that we've taken from the um, top part here of the Chicago bedroom to investigate further this issue of color change. And this was really for us the eureka moment because when my colleague Inge Fiedler was under the microscope looking at this sample and we see here the top part of it, of course this is magnified, is uh, no wider than the diameter of one of our hair. Um, and uh, we can see that the surface is some blue particles, maybe a little bit of purplish thing that is still visible. But um, when she flipped it over, that's when she came screaming out of the lab uh, saying, it's purple, it's purple. To come to the recolorized visualization of the bedroom, really we want the public to understand that that brings us back to the emotional landscape of Van Gogh, because in all truth, the walls of the actual bedroom in Arles were white, were whitewashed. So the purple is his own interpretation of, and his own, own intent of um, expressing the resting of the mind or of the imagination. The first step was to identify the palette. And we did this in several ways. We now have uh, tools, technology that can actually, in one single sweep, use x-rays in an instrument that we call macro XRF scanner to identify all the pigments that uh, Van Gogh used. Uh, to identify these colorants that have faded, because they tend to be of natural or synthetic origin, so to be organic, of course, x-rays don't work because they are very helpful for inorganic elements. And so we took microscopic samples and we analyzed them in several ways with several techniques. We identified that the pigment in Chicago in the walls and the doors is a cochineal lake, is a carmine lake. It's actually obtained from the uh, bodies of bugs in Central America. And it gives this wonderful, rich fuchsias and pinks and scarlet colors. Some of our findings in terms of the technique that Van Gogh used to paint these different versions as well as the damage that we can notice on the three different paintings helped us establish for good that the Amsterdam painting was painted first in 1888 and the Chicago painting was painted later in 1889.